on August the 1st, I mentioned how I felt the next generation console would just be a gaming PC and the largest uh, generational leap, quote unquote, will be accomplished just by running the largest NVIDIA GPU and the best CPU money could buy. I love the fact that some guy person seems to have put out a statement on August the 1st. And uh, it's just referring to that statement. Anyway, with Microsoft's recent ad about how everything is now an Xbox, do you tend to agree that the next Xbox will just be a top-end gaming PC? Do you think Microsoft is just a gaming brand and has nothing to do with dedicated hardware now? Um, and um, this one from James Prendergast. Given the hard pivot Xbox division messaging has done, is this quote-unquote largest generational leap even happening anymore? It would seem to be at odds with this philosophy of equalism. Uh, so, yeah, this is an interesting sort of byproduct of the, of the messaging that Microsoft is putting out right now, which is, you know, if everything is an Xbox, what's, you know, what's the point of making, um, a, a, dare I say, a bespoke hardware design? As I understand it, you know, Microsoft has gone on the record to confirm that in on Gen 10, right? There's going to be a Gen 10 uh, console. We've also just had the um, comments from the Bloomberg interview that there's definitely going to be a handheld. It's just going to be arriving in a few days' time. Um, but at the same time, some guy person might be onto something here in that, you know, I do think there's probably going to be some um, revamp or changes to Windows, which essentially means that whatever your Xbox, sorry, whatever your PC is, it could be considered an Xbox. That would be the logical route forward. Um, Oliver, you got anything to add? Yeah, I mean, it could could very well be a possibility here, but I also think that I don't really think it would be just a PC. I mean, if they were to go down this road, I think they would have something branded as an Xbox and something that contains a controller in the box and things like this. Looks like an Xbox. I don't. I don't really think they would go down the full route of just shipping you you know, some <laughs> Alienware monstrosity and saying that's an Xbox. Um, I really don't think that would be the case. And I also don't think it'd be the case that they would just be selling you a $5,000 PC. I presume they'd have a lot of lower end SQs as well. But I also don't think they're necessarily talking about GPU size, at least not exclusively with that greatest generational leap quote. Um, I think they're probably talking about machine learning to some degree as well, some substantial degree as well. But I do agree that Xbox is more of a gaming brand, um, or becoming more of a gaming brand than a discrete platform. I think the problem with that potentially is that as you cede control over that direct and dedicated Xbox platform, that Xbox console, you're also ceding some control over the overall user experience. And then if you're going over to Windows, Windows has a whole bag of problems and issues for use as uh, something that could approximate that Xbox experience there. And streaming is its whole can of worms. So uh, yeah, I think that personally, that is a, a potentially a viable way they would go. I think that they will continue to embrace the multi-skew strategy though. I would not expect uh, extremely high-end gaming PC or something that's similar to that to be the only venue into the next generation Xbox console. I'd expect lots of SKUs, including that, including the handheld as well, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, there was a comment in the Bloomberg interview that Phil did that they're not going to be putting out a thousand dollar console. That doesn't seem to be the future for them. So some guy person's uh, conceit here that they just put, put the largest, uh, the best performing parts into a box probably isn't the best way forward. It's not going to do well, as, as Phil said, it's not going to do anything for uh, improving their total addressable market. I just think that by virtue of the fact that Windows is probably going to change to be more gaming friendly uh, and accommodate consoles and handhelds, you know, it would just happen anyway. Um, John? Man, they, they didn't say what the largest general generational leap actually refers to. It could just be no. leap of logic, leap of, you know, leap of anything, <laughs> leap right? Leap of logic. <laughs> so <laughs> who knows? A leap of faith, even. Oh, yeah, exactly. A leap of faith. The largest leap of faith in console <laughs> history. It's it's going to happen. Um, man, yeah. They're, they're in such a weird position uh, right now. I mean, we've talked about this a lot in terms of where do they go next, uh, and there's been so many hints along the way with these different skews and all that, but I think you're right. Like just this idea though, of doing like a, uh, just be a top end gaming PC. The power is definitely not the issue. That's, I think, I just think they've 
change they they've realized they need to change course and that maybe the old consoleized console market model doesn't work anymore i mean the original idea for xbox uh from not the xbox team but from microsoft was to make it like a pc in the living room right and then obviously the yeah. original xbox team determined back in the late 90s early 2000s that hey this is not the time to do this the hardware the software it is not there yet uh and they were right but mm -hmm. it is there now i would argue we're actually at a point where feasibly if done well if done well that's the key that we're actually at the point where they could maybe realize that original vision for what uh you know a microsoft based machine in the living room could be and just add that in with this their, them becoming essentially a giant publisher and they don't they don't need to sell tons of these things as long as you know make something that's compelling enough get enough sales but not necessarily like the typical sales you expect from like a con you know a consoleized console uh, consoleized consolidated <laughs> consolid <laughs> oh my gosh what am i even saying uh there's, there's too many c words in this uh but yes the either way there's a lot we don't know and i'm just curious to see what happens well let's go all in on that original concept and just make the console a massive x that you put down next Dude, to your TV. <laughs> I would love them to do a special edition uh, that is just the giant X, and it comes <laughs> with like cleaning solution and the microfiber cloth to keep it clean. Uh, every single day, you have to polish it. They could actually put it on a schedule where it wakes you up in the morning. The first task is to go in and polish the X before you go about your day. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 